Now, let me ask you a question. Have you taken time out of your day, like really taken time to look at different side hustles, different ways to actually make money in the gig economy? Well, don't worry if you're busy. I got you. It is my job to help you make money in different side hustles. And in this video, I want to present a new app, or at least new to me, this side hustle that I just got activated on, as you know, based on the title, it's called Point Pickup. And in this video, we need to go over is it really worth it? Some of my first impressions to decide, should this even be on your radar? So Point Pickup, founded in 2015, they are, quote, the leading enterprise-only retail-branded provider of fulfillment and last-mile delivery services for the country's top retailers in all 50 states. Simply put, for you and I, it's a delivery job, delivering retail goods to customers. Now, maybe you've never really heard of this, so let's see what others are saying. Team members from our community say, and hey, by the way, if you're not a team member, consider subscribing and join the team here. But Kanita09 says, thanks for commenting, that's all I do Sundays and Mondays. So far, five pickups today, and I am at $175. Eli says, Point Pickup is definitely one of my main apps out of the four that I run. Now, conversely, Odeka says, I I've used Point Pickup in the past. I never had good experiences with their support agents, nor the merchants, such as Giant Eagle. So I haven't used the app for months now. So certainly not like cut and dry, right? And this is important to me too, because I just got activated. So let's find out who even qualifies what you actually need, well, what you're required to use to drive on point pickup. And then hang with me here. I'm going to show you some live order requests. So again, we can start deciding, is this even worth it? So number one, who can become a point pickup driver? And this is straight from their support page. And it states anyone above the age of 18 with a valid driver's license, social security number, any functioning vehicle manufactured after the year 2000 can become a point pickup partner. All drivers must pass a background check before becoming an activated driver with point pickup. All right, but yeah, what type of packages am I going to be delivering? I think this is kind of pretty important because if it's like Amazon Flex, if I'm doing a lot of larger or medium to larger size boxes, that's quite different if it's just envelopes or just like one thing, like let's say Uber Connect. So let's see here. What type of packages will I be delivering? Point pickup drivers can pick a number of different types of packages depending on their preferences and the carrying capacity of their vehicles. This includes groceries, small packages and envelopes, and larger goods. When signing up, a driver will have the option to select the type of packages they would like to pick up as shown below. So let me actually show you a screenshot of what I have in my actual account here. So they state you can change this when you sign up. And this is in my now activated profile. So I can still change this after you get activated. Boxes, bags, envelopes, takeout food. Interesting, maybe a rival to some food delivery apps, okay? Odd shaped items. Okay, flowers and plants. Groceries, liquor, includes liquor. So I guess groceries that include liquor. Pharmacy, oversized items. That's actually pretty important. If you have a truck, a larger vehicle, you might be able to take advantage of that. Items over 35 pounds and general merchandise. Okay, well, if you're trying to make money like sooner rather than later, how long does it take to get activated? It states, so once you complete registration on the Point Pickup Driver app, it could take anywhere from 24 hours to one week for you to become an activated driver. My activation was pretty quick and they stay in there. I mean, support page has a ton of information if you want to go over more of some of these FAQs. But the only reason that they really stated that your registration will get tied up is because of the background check. If there's flags, if there's something on the background check, then it does get forwarded to their legal and compliance team. 
per their support page. But I was activated pretty quickly. So again, food for thought. Okay, how it works and pay. So this is what really matters. I mean, frankly, this is like the thing you care about is the pay. So let's look at some actual recent order requests to decide, I mean, again, is a pay even worth it? All right, number one, I just grabbed these at random. I wanted to give you a decent sample size here as well. So starting from the top down, Walmart grocery pickup. Very interesting. This is pretty much a direct competition or at least a different platform than Walmart Spark, which is basically doing this exact thing. It's delivering Walmart groceries. So with points pick up this specific run, at least we can continue down here, $16 and 40 cents. It says $4 and 50 cent base rate plus extra pay and or tip. Estimated distance 6.51 miles. And why is that important? If you're a regular here, you know, and if you're not, or again, if you're not subscribed, this is maybe one reason to subscribe right now is that this is the fundamentals. This is the dollars to mile ratio. How much am I getting paid for the miles driven? We want that to be the biggest margin possible, low on the miles, high on the pay. So you're what? Minimizing that depreciation on your vehicle and maximizing the actual profit margin while again, minimizing the wear and tear on that vehicle. So 1640 for 6.51 miles, that's not bad. So let's look at the next one here, $32.52. That is a pretty good cash flow. Just how much money am I getting paid in general? But look at the miles here, 21.56 miles. So that that's why you need the miles, folks. That really tells the actual story of how efficient this run is. Now, here's something else. Look at the top. This is actually two drop-offs. So similar to Walmart Spark, you're going to go to these point pickup locations. Again, it's a retail location. In this case, Walmart. We saw another comment earlier, John Eagle. That's a grocery store here in Pittsburgh. And the associates will have it ready for you. That is big. Again, associates will have it ready for you, loading into your vehicle, which is nice. Nice. No shopping and pulling items. So is this one worth it for 21 miles for two different stops? Let me know down below in the comments. So with a lot of these apps answering the question of is it worth it really comes down to you and making the decision of are you accepting good runs or not? And of course, you know what your marketplace is actually offering you on a respective platform. And then one more example here, $32.57. These are big payouts, just cash flow again. But remember, the miles almost really equal amount of miles, pretty close, 31.09 miles. And here's the big thing for me is, again, look at the top, there's eight drop-offs here. So what's nice is, yes, I go to the one location, which is nice. There's no back and forth like you might have with Walmart Spark, having to go back to those Walmart locations sometimes. But I'm going to get like eight customer worth of orders there. Then I have to, of course, deliver to those eight drop-offs. I mean, for $32.57, the payout's pretty good, but the miles are most likely not. So take a look here. Here's a more macro level of what the order request screen is going to look like. So we can see lower dollar orders, higher dollar orders. I'll show you some more examples here. But I've seen really, I mean, we see what, a $20 order, a $16.50, $16.50. 36, that you really have to at least give it a second before you accept an order. Give it a second, look over what? The dollars to mile ratio, if it makes sense. If those numbers make sense, and I'm rolling into our verdict here, then this platform might make sense for you. So remember, this is my first impressions, just getting activated and first looking at some of these order request screens. But I'll leave you with this, is frankly, I'll just be honest with you, it doesn't matter what the app is. I mean, I don't care what the UI looks like, the colors, the brand, none of that matters. What matters is what am I picking up? Like, where am I picking it up? And then more importantly, just those numbers. If I'm using my vehicle, that dollars to mile ratio, doesn't matter to me if it's food delivery or if it's general merchandise or if it's groceries. And it doesn't matter again, all that other stuff, it comes down to the profit margin for myself and of course for you. 
So on a first take basis, will I try points pickup delivery? And I mean, for you, do I think it's worth signing up for and trying? Here's the thing. So because these are in essence contracted out to different retailers, right? That's the description of what point pickup is. That's if you're close to some of these pickup locations, and in this case, I mean, our screenshots are just showing Walmart. But if I did show, you know, that Giant Eagle or different grocery stores, just think about how close am I to those locations? Much like any delivery run on shipped delivery only runs, I got to go to that Target or wherever it is, get those goods and then deliver or Walmart Spark. Like I mentioned, I got to go to the Walmart, get the goods and then deliver. The same thing here with Point Pickup. How close am I to these pickup locations? And then I got to consider the dollars to mile ratio and if that's worth it. But listen, here's possibly a hidden takeaway if you've stayed this far in the video that this and similar apps like it might be more niche in that they're more underground. They're lesser known than like, you know, DoorDash, Rideshare and all those. So there might be an opportunity to at least pick the ones that do make sense in your marketplace. So more to come with Point Pickup to see if we can capitalize on some of those runs and possibly get some real standouts that maybe others just aren't paying attention to. So if you did get value in this video, can you do me a favor and drop a like on this video? It really helps out the channel actually a lot. So appreciate that. Thank you. And you can also click or tap screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.